Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indisciple Mind podcast for Tuesday, uh, January 12th, 2016. Oh, it's a sloppy one this morning. We've got uh, snow, had a snow, I don't want to call it a storm. We had a snow system move through. I had two and a half inches of very, very light, fluffy snow to clear uh, off of the driveway this morning. And, uh, yeah, so the road I'm currently on is a little, got a bit of snow on it. I think it'll be better once I get on the freeways. On the freeway, on the main roads. I'm doing about 35 right now. I'm not really sure what I'm thinking about today. We stayed up last night and we watched college football. The last college football game of the year with the national championship game. And that was a good game. That was a good game. I was kind of rooting for, for Alabama just because I know people that are fans. And I didn't really have a dog in the fight. I didn't have any particular reason to like Clemson. I probably would have gotten an equal amount of glee if, if Bama had lost. <laughs> but, uh, but it was a good game, which is really kind of the most important thing with these, with these uh, playoff and championship games. It's, it's, just, it's just nice to have a game that's close, that's competitive, uh, and that is an enjoyable An enjoyable game. So that leaves us with just the NFL now. And I think there's like eight games left. Maybe something like that. Yeah, because we got four this week and I think four next week and then two and then one. Eh, And then you got the Pro Bowl, which is like half a game. And there, so yeah, it's winding down quickly. But I did see that there's uh, 41 days in NASCAR. So the Daytona 500. So usually uh, my sports attention will kind of get drawn to that until uh, football starts up again. And then uh, and then I'll get I'll switch back to that. It is kind of a bittersweet year this year because this season for, for NASCAR... My my driver, the guy I like to follow, Tony Stewart, this is his last year. He's retiring at the end of the season, so. Kind of makes it sad. I don't have a flaming clue if there's somebody else I feel like backing going forward after this year. I may just be a free agent for a while. What else am I thinking about? I don't know. It was a beautiful morning this morning. I got out a little after 5. Probably like 5.15 or so. To clear the snow. And, you know, it's it was very quiet. And it's very nice looking. And... I wasn't sure if I should get my big honking loud snowblower out. I thought, you know, for two and a half inches, and it was it was really light, light powdery stuff. I thought I can, I can handle that with my shovel, and it wasn't that bad. Wow, it'd be kind of nice to have a sense of uh, where the lanes are on this road. There, I can almost see a lane marker. I haven't seen anybody in a ditch yet, which is good, but, you know, it's funny. You'd think that we would we would know how to drive in snow here, 
but invariably every year at the first couple of big snows you got these morons that think oh I drive just like I do in July and they'll be whizzing along and you know and then in the ditch it's just like are you insane yeah, so I'm on I'm on the short section of my drive right now that's freeway. And typically, the speed normally the speed is 100 miles 100 miles an hour. Yeah, no, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I bet there's people that drive it at 100 miles an hour. Uh, currently, I'm going 45. And I really wouldn't want to go any faster than that. But there are people just whizzing. And, you know, that's, a lot of us are going about that, 45, 50. But there are people blowing past me going at least 60. And I'm, going to, I'm, I'm, I'm up to 50 now. Road clear a little bit. But you think we kind of learn. I am reminded of the time when we were in Asheville, North Carolina, I think it was. We were there for, we'd taken some time off, and I forget what, I forget what, it must have been, must have been during winter time. Because it was cold. And they got snow. They got like a half an inch of snow. Maybe. Maybe it was an inch. It wasn't any more than an inch. And we were kind of chuckling because we were watching... As we're getting ready in the morning in our hotel room, we were watching the news, the local news, and you know, everything's closed now. Schools are closed, and everything's closing down. At one point, I looked out the window. Uh, we were on, like, the second second floor in this little it was like a you know holiday express kind of place we were on the second floor and I looked down and there was this woman that was clearing off the snow from her car using a napkin with no gloves and we got on the road to go get breakfast by getting on the road, I mean, we were just driving into town. We were kind of in the outskirts of town, and we were just driving into, into town. And <laughs> the roads were pretty much ours. We saw a couple cars here and there, and uh, we found a little diner that was open and stopped and had breakfast. And there were a few people in there, but uh, it was pretty dead out there. There weren't a whole lot of people that were willing to brave the snow. Which was kind of funny uh, to us to kind of see that firsthand. I've always heard that that's the case, but it was a little different seeing it. We certainly don't shut down here for an inch of snow. I haven't looked, but I would be hard pressed to think that any of the, any of the, at least the public schools, have shut down today. Even most of the private schools I wouldn't think have shut down today. Because this isn't, I mean, two inches isn't that much. <sighs> but, yeah, apparently winter is upon us. We're supposed to be in the low 20s today. We're supposed to be in the high teens tomorrow. I'm hoping the, the heat's functional, you know, the last few days, a few working days, I should say, you know, I get into the office and it's like 66 degrees inside, and so I've got a little fleece sweater that I wear, I put that on right away, and I've even got a, a ball cap that I'll put on on those really cold days, and I'll wear that, so it's like I'm all home, because I always got a ball cap and a, and a fleece on at home. But I guess I will let this go, and uh, I will be back tomorrow. So, be seeing you.